Hello there. It is exactly 4 p.m. on a weekend. It's Saturday. Hello, at the time of filming this video. And it is co <laughs> it's constantly like on and off rain, like with hail a couple of minutes ago. Now it's cool, so we'll see. No surge, by the way. Can you comment down below? I mean, it was coming down pretty good, and I was watching Uber Eats. I'm online with Uber Eats and Grubhub no surge during that whole thing and we're still expecting rain so that's great but we'll see what we can get today there's still really no surge right now on uber eats uh, chipotle would you take this one it's four dollars and eighty cents but it's like right around the corner <laughs> Do you ever find these orders kind of funny like the customer could literally walk there this is one road away basically the dollars to mile ratio it's good but i don't take these i mean i know how short it is technically i'm gonna mark uh reject offer is too low again four dollars and eighty cents what if there's a delay at the chipotle that's basically the only thing that can happen if there's a delay at that chipotle i want something better i want like eight dollars for one some miles two miles that's really what I'm looking for. Okay, let's take this one, Roots Natural Kitchen. Number one, the dollars to mile, it's nice. That's how much am I getting paid for the miles driven. But I really like the ending destination. And some of our other ones, I wasn't happy with the ending destination. So this one gets the green light and the sun's coming out. Hopefully the rain holds off, whatever. We'll power through it. So let's get it. I'll see you in a bit. So I finished that order. I'm getting another one. Let's check this one out real quick. We'll take it. Why not? We'll take it really quickly. So I got this order for that. Yeah, 663, that 10 VN Vien, Vien order, 2.2 miles. That restaurant always gets slammed. You got to know the market knowledge. So, and I knew this, you know, I still took it. It's on me. I went in there and I see, you know, they, they know she's like, we just got, if they say we just got it, that's probably a red flag. If, that's the first thing they say, like, oh, we just got it. Like brace yourself. So she goes to the other guy, she's like, Hey, how long did you put in for, you know, so-and-so he's like, I put in a 30 minute timer. So <laughs> the other associate goes, uh, you know, can you come back in 20 minutes? I, I wouldn't. Um, what you can do is try to take another run on a different app in time for you to come back for like 20, 25 minutes. Just be careful of that. I know it's doable, but there's tight timing there because you don't want to you know take forever and then have to get back here. And then you, it's not 30 minutes when you get back here, but it's been ready since 20 minutes. So it's been sitting there for 10 minutes. You get it. So check this out, finish that order. And this is a perfect example of a power strip. Those are areas that are really dense with restaurants. Ideally, you got a lot of customers close by to that power strip, which is basically what you see here. The reason I like Grubhub, folks, is it may not have the biggest market share. It may not be the busiest per se, but what they do throw at you can be insane. Look at this order. It's like $15. Look at the dollar to mile ratio. From what I've seen, it's because of a high customer tip. I mean, it's a stellar order. No brainer. So let's do it. Well, hello again after uh, like two minutes, not even. So <laughs> remember that other order that they told us it was going to be like 30 minutes. They said that the guy set the timer for 30 minutes. Oh, it happened again. Grubhub, same thing. The person said it's gonna be like 20 minutes. All right, we did it, <laughs> finally. Just a couple of minutes, it wasn't too bad there. I got this order, it's like 12 some dollars, really solid on the numbers. And this is why power strips just work. It's right up on the same road here, very good. All right, there we go. We got our last order here that looks pretty good, check it out. So a great dollar to mile payout. And it's from the PF Changs. You can see that here. Now, here's the thing with this one. I had to give this one like a second pause. I'm going to call this 
because I have all these labels apparently, an outskirt order. Hopefully this helps you just remember stuff, but an outskirt order is an order that's on the outskirts of the radius that you drive in. Again, I was on the outskirt really of an area that I'd even really consider driving in. But here's the thing. The good thing is it's kind of like an inverse order. And what I mean by that is it's starting a little bit further away, but it's ending bring me back in a good zone versus if this was the opposite if it's was a pickup in you know the good zone the central area of the zone and then it finished in really that outskirt that edge of the marketplace it wouldn't be as attractive for me pretty decent shift i didn't like those two that we had to cancel that you saw of course um the weather i didn't see Uber Eats really doing much with that. Usually there's some kind of surge, at least here in Pittsburgh. But hey, that's it. I'm headed home, so I'll join you at the home base and we'll go over the numbers together. All right, now I'm back and I got the numbers for this shift in front of me. Look, can we just kind of acknowledge the what I'm calling the risk versus reward shift tonight because I mean, I knew, I told you, I knew my market research. This is why market research, it's real, it works, and you need to understand the trends and the places that drop the ball. Because I knew that one restaurant, they dropped the ball before, and I took the risk, and they just got that ticket. There is another clue for you. If you just get an order request, and there's like no commuting time, basically you're parked in that power strip, or you're like parked in that plaza and it's right there, a lot of the times that restaurant also just got that order, which is basically what I had happened from that Tan Vak Vien restaurant. So without further ado, and with two delays because of those long wait times that I just canceled, Let's take a look at the numbers. So this shift here in Pittsburgh was from 4 p.m. until 6.30 p.m. During this shift, I grossed $50.49. That's $20.20 per hour. Again, a big delay. Two orders that I had to go there and had that wait time. I bet that would have been higher without those orders. Five deliveries were completed. I did receive five tips as well. An average right around the ballpark that I typically see. Average tip $4.71. Now the business miles were still good. Just 20 overall business miles. That's a payout per mile of $2.52. So I had a really kind of slow start, but as always, folks, you don't want to be driving around wasting miles, and this is a testament of a good mileage strategy. And based on those miles, I get a tax deduction of $11.70. So on to the next one. I'm confident that hopefully we won't see that happen again. I mean, I haven't had that wait time delay where they say like 20 or 30 minutes in a while, let alone twice in one shift. So stay tuned. I'm betting the next shift is going to be a lot better. Let me know how your recent shifts have gone down below in the comments. And if you got value, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you drop a like on this. It helps out the channel. Thank you very much. And you can also click or tap screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.